Meanwhile, several Michigan civil rights groups, including the Detroit chapter of the NAACP, are also calling on Colonel Achu to resign or be fired. As Joe Sam explains, civil rights leaders say Colonel Achu's posts cast a shadow on a department already riddled with racial issues. Instead of to serve and protect, she is serving and dividing this state. Civil rights leaders gathering in Detroit today calling on Colonel Christy Kibiachu to step down. The Michigan State Police Director has been under fire since her Facebook post calling NFL players who kneel during the national anthem anti-American degenerates. When something like this happens where the director of the Michigan State Police says such damning information, statements out there, you could only imagine what she's feeling in, 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 in person. Detroit NAACP President Reverend Wendell Anthony says the post is not only racist, but also violates the values and principles of the Michigan State Police. Under Article 4, under the Code of Conduct, Section 4.5, members shall not make public statements on or off duty, which show a reckless disregard for the truth. Etchu met with the legislative Black Caucus last week and apologized for the post, saying she made a mistake. Obviously, uh, my comments on a personal Facebook post was very offensive. And I am truly sorry. That was never my intent. Governor Snyder said it was important she apologized and did not ask her to step down. But according to Reverend Anthony, the Facebook post is just the beginning of a much bigger issue with the department. The percentage of women and minorities at the Michigan State Police is down from 12.5% in 1993 to just 6.5% today. Yes, because uh, I know you're going to say she resigned. Yes, she should resign. But that's one issue. The other issue is that the policies and programs must resign. If you change the director and leave the policies up, you've not done the job. And that was Joe Sam reporting. The Detroit chapter of the NAACP has requested a meeting with Governor Snyder to discuss Colonel Etchu's future along with some of the department's policies.